Most hair extensions aren't attached to the scalp. They don't get the disbursement of the natural oils like our natural hair does. So they need a little extra hydration to stay looking amazing. Use EHP leave-in conditioner to replace any moisture and seal and protect. You can gently work the leave-in conditioner through with a wet dry brush, again, making sure you keep the conditioner off the extension attachment. I emphasize gently, since hair extensions are usually most vulnerable when wet, and any slipping of panels or coming out usually occurs when the hair is wet. It's usually helpful to separate the crown portion of your client's natural hair up and away so you're able to see the extensions as you work. Once your client is properly shampooed and the hair is prepped with a leave-in conditioner, you're ready to perform a blowout. A proper blowout on a client wearing hair extensions is a great way to get the most natural looking blend of the client's natural hair and the extensions. It's also a great opportunity to check your work and make sure placement is correct and that the client is properly maintaining their extensions at home. Here are a couple tips for a safe and beautiful service. Start by prepping the hair with a heat protectant spray, like Heat Treat and Shine, to shield from damage and protect the color from fading. But be sure to keep the product away from the hair extension attachment. You'll first want to dry the hair at the scalp and around the extension attachment. You can press the panels together as you do this to solidify the extension bond. Once the panels are dry, you can proceed to round brush or paddle brush as you normally would. Feel free to use any volumizing or styling products you would like. Working in sections, blow dry both the extensions and your client's natural hair together for the most blended appearance. Once your client's hair is completely dry, she's ready to leave as is, or you can continue to style with a heat tool, like a flat iron or curling iron.